Hi, my name is Michael Johnson, and I'm a professor at the University of Arizona in the Department of Immunobiology. I'm sitting here in my car, and I was thinking about vaccines. Uh, I was looking around this car and seeing the airbag. I was seeing the seatbelt, and it really got me thinking about protection and a pretty cool analogy when it comes to uh, vaccines. You see, vaccines are like the seatbelt and the airbag and even being in the car. It's all these things that protect you against harm from things like viruses and bacteria. Now, some of these protections in these vehicles, like the airbags, are absolutely wonderful. You know, and with some of these vaccines, it's almost like wearing an Iron Man suit and a tank. I mean, you're very, very, very protected inside uh, when you take that vaccine. It trains your immune system to really recognize uh, these, uh, these bad bacteria viruses that can really harm you, and it helps your body get rid of them like that. Some vaccines are getting there. So I hear a lot about the flu vaccine, and it's not 100% effective. It's not 70% effective. Well, guess what? Would you rather be sitting on the hood of your car while driving, or would you rather at least have on a lap belt? At least I'd like to have on a lap belt, because at least that's some protection inside the vehicle. I mean, can you imagine everybody, how many people would get hurt if they just uh, rode around on the hood of their car? It wouldn't be great. And one other thing that you can do with vaccination is practice defensive driving. In this case, defensive driving is actually you getting vaccinated and protecting people who are, might be immunocompromised and can't get their vaccinations for whatever reason. So do your part, get vaccinated, and at least, at least in the case of the flu vaccine, wear a lap belt. See you later.